Hey, yo, what's going on, everybody? It's Tylarius, aka Ty Killington. Yeah, man. All right, with the GTA Online Summer DLC just right around the corner, right? I want to give you guys my Summer DLC vehicle wish list, uh, types of vehicles I'd like to see in GTA Online with this DLC. And then stick around for the end because there's a few vehicles that I would not like to see, right? So let me know what you guys think about this in the comments. What type of vehicles do you guys want to see? What do you not want to see come in with this particular DLC, all right? So first and foremost, I think it's about time we get a LG RH8 remake, right? Or maybe just like a revamp. Uh, these are some of the concepts and some of the uh, new skyline designs right here. So I think a, a brand new, you know, more modern LG RH8 uh, this is like an R36 rendition, right? I think that would be really cool to have one of those types of vehicles in the game. I think it's about time. We've had a couple of custom models come in. And I think it's about time that we get the uh, the new LGs in there. All right. Then, of course, we have a Cybertruck. Now, listen, I technically, I'm not, this is, I don't really want this. I just feel like it's inevitable, right? This is a very rock star thing. This is a very GTA thing to have a Cybertruck in the game. I mean, it's just such a pop culture phenomenon. It's a terrible vehicle. It makes absolute perfect sense to be in the uh in the game and it makes perfect sense for the cyber truck to be in the compact class right <laughs> so i swear to god uh, uh a couple of vehicles i would love to see some more vehicles of listen this is a biased thing this is my personal thing right but i love the hot ring races my crew we have a great time with the hot ring races and right now we currently have three hot ring vehicles yeah. i'd like to see a couple more cars and some more trucks we got the chevy uh, the Silverado, we got the Ford F-150. And then down below over here, you have the Le Mans variants of the stock car for the Dominator or the, the Mustang. And then we also have the Chevy Camaro or the Vajero, right? So that would be really cool to see some more hot ring vehicles come into the uh, game. Because, again, the hot ring races are a blast. You can have 30 people in there. And for our crew, if you got you know some friends or even if you just get into like a public session, I mean, it's complete nightmare and madness in a public lobby. But they're still a lot of fun. Plus, these races don't take a lot of skill. They're just easy. You're just doing a few turns here or there. I would like to see more Le Mans-style hot ring tracks in the future, maybe with the uh, with bringing in a couple of these vehicles right here. That'd be a lot of fun. But you know, as you guys know, on Fridays, we always have fun with this. So I think that'd be a fun uh, you know, kind of addition to the game for some, for some vehicles. I would like to see some new motorcycles in the game. Uh, ever since the biker DLC, I mean, people know this. You've been following me. I've always wanted. I, I can't believe they didn't bring in a motorcycle with a sidecar, right? And then on the bottom left corner here, that is the Dodge. Uh, that's the V10. That's the Viper engine motorcycle. It's got two tires in the front, two tires in the back. And I think that is be kind of funny to have in the game. You know, nothing too crazy. Uh, then you have a futuristic sidecar motorcycle and then a uh, more, you know, old school style, right? Uh, and then uh, kind of going along the lines with the LG, some more, uh, some more dominators in the game, right? You got the Shelby GT500 coming out. You got the Dark Horse. Uh, you got uh, Mustang's new GTD as well, which is like their Le Mans very I think we already have that particular vehicle in the game. Uh, but maybe, you know, something kind of along those lines. You know, again, at least the hot ring variant would be a lot of fun. So that'd be cool. And then, of course, we're going to have some futuristic or more modern style hypercars, maybe, right? In the top left corner is a look at Ferrari's concept for some new hypercars. But the only problem that I have with this is that there's going to be a lot of electric vehicles, right? All, a lot of the new vehicles coming out, IRL or electric, I just, you know, I, I got to have that old school sound. And, of course, I, I still think we have room for plenty of muscle cars in the game. Uh, we don't have a legit like you know real rendition of a camaro if you you could say the vajero is that uh but we need a kind of like a remake on that vajero to give it like a real ss camaro look uh, i think that'd be cool and then we don't have a gto with the over under you know the over under shotgun headlights i think that'd be a lot of fun we've got a few cars that are close to these but i still think we got more room for both the hyper cars with regular engines maybe a couple of evs in there and then some old school muscle speaking of muscle let's go to new school you all know me you know i've been screaming for the track hawk for the longest time for about four or five years now listen though they have to do it right the track hawk must have a money tech and the hsw performance upgrades i mean we we got to have both for the track hawk i mean you got to right you got to have the defensive capabilities some legit bullet resistant glass and then just some kick-ass performance and speed i mean that would just be epic you gotta have the track hawk in there 
And then kind of going along those same lines, I, mean, I think we need some more muscle, some more modern muscle love here. We've got the Shelby uh, F-150, over 700 horsepower in this truck. We need some more trucks in the game. We really do. Uh, then you got the Ram, the TRX. I mean, you're over 700 horsepower at that. And the bottom left corner, you got the Dodge Durango Elephant Edition. And the Elephant is over 800 horsepower. That's crazy. Now, Rockstar gave us the the Dorado, which is completely, it's just, don't, who, who even cares? So, it'd be cool to see that vehicle get like a, a Monty Tech upgrade or a, you know, or HSW upgrade. That'd be really cool to see that and kind of transform it into the Elephant. And uh, going on top of that, we need to see more Benny's vehicles, more you know, how vehicles, more Benny's HSW, more Monty Tech. And why can't we have an off-road garage like the, the the Beaker's garage up north or something like that? Why can't we have something? That'd be really cool to be able to put bigger tires in the vehicles. That'd be a lot of fun. Now, this DLC is a vigilante bounty hunter type kind of DLC. So I do think we'll see some more cop vehicles in the game. Can we please get the police motorcycle, the, the, the police bike? Can we get that in the bottom right corner? And then, of course, we'll probably see a Cybertruck cop car, right? We'll see modern, futuristic cop cars. Maybe a, uh, a police drone motorcycle right here. That's kind of maybe something I don't want to see, right? Uh, but, yeah, I mean, I, there's, there's a possibility. At the very least, can we get the police motorcycle? I want to reenact the intro to the world-famous, what, 80s TV show Chips, right? <laughs> California Highway Patrol. Oh my god, a little Eric Estrada in there, that'd be dope. But yeah, I do think that we might be able to get some more police vehicles in there. Uh, more police-themed style vehicles at the very least. That'd be nice. And then, of course, if we're getting you know some cop vehicles, we need some bounty vehicles, some renegade style, some vigilante vehicles. For years, I've always said I would love to see a supercar with a armored Karuma-style defensive capability, like a Zentorno built up to have the same kind of armament as like an armored Karuma, maybe some more defensive capabilities and some more supercars with more, you know, durable type kind of off-roading, you know, style look to them, as you see in the, with the Lambo in the bottom right corner right here. These are real production vehicles, at least the, the Lambo in the bottom right corner is anyways. So I would love to see that in the, in the game. Now, things I do not want to see, okay, listen, there is a new DeLorean out. It looks really cool. If it's just a car, I'm fine. No more flying cars, okay? We're done. Let's just let the game end with just regular, modern, a little wacky, but nothing too futuristic and crazy. I don't want to see a Mark III in the game, okay? I don't want to see any more flying choppers. Look, you, there's a police variant of the Mark III right here in the top right corner. I mean, I'm sure plenty of you would love to see that. I, as, I'm, as I'm saying this, I'm thinking a lot of you would love to see a cop variant of the oppressor mark ii just so you could chase down other oppressor mark twos and then use it as an excuse to use an oppressor mark ii which you've been talking trash about for so long right so i get it but i don't want to see any more futuristic vehicles in the game no more flying cars no more flying motorcycles you know just get us some really cool you know fun vehicles that are, we already have um but yeah i just feel like rockstar is going to do something like this i really do <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Anyways, all right. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel for the illest and realest content in the game. Smash, I mean, smush, smash that like button. And we'll see you guys in the next video, all right? Peace out. Yeah.